Okay, we are jumping back into our sound, my league, my NBA, my whatever you want to call it. Um, and in our last episode, we had a very crazy game against the 76ers. If you guys missed it, go do yourself a favor and watch it. Trust me, you don't want to miss that one. Um, but currently up 1-0 in the series. Like I said, we're going to simulate this next game and we'll play the other one after it just so we can get through this uh, series a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and simulate it. Let's see what happens. We'll simulate with SimCast. Uh, as you can see, the 76ers are blowing us out of the water. That's literally, that's actually what I expected, to be honest. I didn't think we were going to beat them. I don't think we we're going to beat them during the simulations at all. So we'll see how it goes. But the series is now tied 1-1. My goodness, Ben Simmons had 33 points, 3 rebounds, 8 assists. But Joel Embiid, he was feasting on the glass. 32-23 and 23 for the big man. And the problem is, I don't really have any bigs that can fight him on the glass very well. Like, Miles Turner, I think he's like a good rebounder, but definitely not a supreme Joel Embiid status type rebounder. Um, but for us, Michael Porter led us with 16 points, 6 of 14 from the field. Jeremy Lamb had 15 of his own. See, Ricky Rubio here had a double-double. And the highest rebounder on my team was Bobby Porter's with only 6. So getting beat on the class is going to be a problem against this team. We only had 32 rebounds compared to how many did they have? They only had 32 rebounds compared to their 54. So they killed us on the glass. That was not pretty. So let's see if we can get a dub here. Like we beat them last time. It was somewhat shocking, somewhat crazy that we came back and made that comeback in the end. But I don't want to get in that situation again. Let's start out on fire and end on fire. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button, hit that bell notification as well so you can stay up to date with this series and all the other ones we got going on. All right, so we are on our home court. As you can see, the bench is still all bugged and glitched out. 2K, where we at with the updates, bro? When we gonna patch that? Because it's kind of weird to look at. Anyway, 10 seconds left on the shot clock here. Like I said, we want to prove ourselves in this game. We don't want to get in a situation where we're you know, having to make a comeback again in that fourth quarter. Even though how fun it was. That was such a great time. <laughs> As Michael Porter got the ball here. Let's see if we can get him off to a hot start, man. He's going to drive the lane, and he is... Uh, oh, okay. I, was, I thought it was going to be a charge, but we'll take one foul there. All right, like I was saying, let's get MPJ going, man. Give him some good looks here. Miles Turner is going to flare out for a three. The big man's putting it up and missing. 76 is on the other end. Tobias Harris puts up a three ball of his own, and he knew that was going in. Miles Turner once again setting another screen, trying to keep the big man active and involved. MPJ is going to get a good look and a green light in that corner. All right, let's see if we can get something set up. Bobby Portis, I'm looking for that pick and pop. Ricky Rubio is going to take it. Oh, we're going to find an easy lane here. And Rubio gets on the board pretty early. It has been a tough game, boys. It has been a very tough game. I'm, I'm just going to say that. Simmons is going to drive here. Finally, somebody scored. Let's go ahead and get that quick pick and roll here. MPJ, little midi goes up. Max it down. Let's go. He got five in this one. All right, we are jumping back into this first quarter, man. And we only have 11 points. This has been the definition of a defensive struggle. As McDermott misses his three. Seriously, though, this has been tough. Neither team can really get it going. I know the 76ers are up by five points, but they have also been on the struggle bus. Maybe everyone's just distracted by the bench as Josh Richardson puts it down on McConnell. Glenn Robinson trying to go up here. Some good, some good initial defense, but he got right past me. Malik Beasley over to Derek Jones. It's going to be a screen coming from Beasley. Or it's for Jones, excuse me, as he's going to find the easy lane there. Finally, man. All right, jumping back into this one. Second quarter basketball, and we're currently down by 14 points. And I can point you to one reason why that's happening. It's second chance points, guys. They are killing us on the glass. And I guess when we simulated that last game, clearly something went wrong. Because they beat us on the glass in that one as well. And it feels like deja vu, man. Feels like we're just playing the simulated game out. Over Portis. Tobias Harris on the inside. Some great Harris defense from Portis. Yeah, and we really just don't have any good, like, like or great wow. rebounders on this Michael team Porter. as MPJ Jeremy pulls up the midi. And misses that one. Simmons, here we go. Oh, good defense, Miles Turner. It's exactly what we need to turn this game around, man. As MPJ, oh, he almost caught a body. That would have been so big. 76 is on the other end, man. That would have gave us so much momentum. Richardson, the easy bucket. All right, let's get in our set. Let's take our time here. I feel like we've been rushing a little bit on offense. As Jeremy Lamb's going to flare out, gets a good look. 
Misses Miles Turner. The rebound goes back up. Misses the putback. Okay. It feels like they're running away with this one, man. It really does. Miles Turner flares out. Gets a good look. A green light. Okay, that can give us a little bit of hope. Let's go. Miles Turner guarding up against Horford here. Horford goes up with it. Turner, some good defense. He is turning it around, man. His name, he's living up to his name of being the Turner as Michael Porter Jr. is going to go to the line here. They're playing a little two-man game in this corner as Matisse is going to drive over Turner, but no, man. Man, we made a really good trade for him, didn't we? MPJ, take your time. Let's see. The green light. Let's go. He is waking up. He got 11 in this one. They were up by 17 literally like two minutes ago, so I don't know what happened, but we are making this comeback, and as soon as I say that, you get a bucket. Let's go ahead and run this pick and fade here. I always make my big man fade as Jeremy Lamb puts up the three and another green light. His first three points of the game. And they got Thibault on uh, MPJ, which I totally understand. They need a good defender on him because he's been going off. He's been going off. Harris with the ball, McDermott trying his best to play D, and he does just that. Some good defense from McDermott as MPJ is trying to bring this one up. A lot of contact, no foul, but you know what? We're going up with it. Come on now. MPJ with 15 on pace for 30 in this one. Let's go, let's go. Let's further cut into this lead. Rubio goes behind the back, McDermott. Oh, okay, McDermott. Okay, McDermott. What the heck? I never seen him do that before. And just like that, it's a three-point game. This is ridiculous, man. That's this is the second time we've had to make a comeback against the 76ers in this series, and somehow we are pulling it off as Embiid. Yikes. All right, what are we running a play here for? I think it's Beasley coming off the screen here. Gets a great look. Good screen from Gafford, and Beasley knocks that down. Ten seconds left on the shot clock here for the Sixers. Let's see what they're thinking. They're going to set a screen. What, what, the, what kind of two-man game is that? Oh, and Bede's going to get a good look, though. That's what I get. That's what I get, man. All right, jumping into the third quarter right now. As you can see, 76ers hosting a little six-point lead. Nothing to worry about, though, because Miles Turner is going to the line. Let's go. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Ben Simmons trying to create. Ooh, the midi. Misses that. Let's go. Let's run. MPJ has his takeover, so we might as well try to go it away. He's pulling up in transition. Okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. 76 is on the other end as Harris the three. They make us pick. All right, so let's get us set up in some offense, man. We've been going a little bit crazy here. Miles comes set the screen here. MPJ. Oh, we got the we got a little mismatch. I actually like this matchup. Turner against Harris. Turner goes up with it. Let's go, big man. Under five to go in this third quarter. 76 ers up by six points. They're going to go to Embiid. Goes baseline. Miles Turner. Remember his name. Okay, just remember it. MPJ. A good look. Oh, he misses. They're going to go inside. You guys see the mismatch. I'm going to try to slide and help here. Milton's going to put up a good three. Thankfully, he misses that as Rubio bringing down that rebound. Rubio in transition. Trying to shake his man, but not happening. Oh, we get it inside. I did not expect that pass to go through. Milton trying to get on the inside. They're going to go to Embiid. He's putting up that little jumper. That one misses. MPJ brings that one down. Jeremy Lamb deep in this corner. I'll fake that. I'll fake that. I was about to commit to that three ball, but you know what? You can definitely get a better look. MPJ got the size advantage. He's going to fade away the green light. Let's go. New screen, I think, for Miles Turner. I'm not entirely sure who this play was run for. I think it was for a switch for Bobby Portis. So we're going to go to him, and he's going to make him pay. 76ers, Embiid off the backboard. Okay. All right, moving into the fourth quarter. As you can see, the 76ers holding a little three-point lead. As McConnell's going to... I want to lob this one up. Let's go. Derrick Jones Jr. That's what I want to see out of him, man. That's why he's on this team. Ten seconds left on the shot clock for the 76ers. McConnell's trying to do his best job against... A much bigger player that Ben Simmons is. Robinson, the big three. Wow. Okay. Gafford setting the screen here. Waiting for that roll. We're going to kick this one out. Malik Beasley, the green lights. Let's go. Connell looking to set this play up as we're at the seven-minute mark. Malik Beasley coming off the screen. The three ball misses. 
Sending a double team. Joel Embiid trying to take this one all the way. Wow, he actually got that to go. Sixers coming right back, looking to extend their lead as Al Horford didn't want to take the jumper. He's going to find Harris cutting back door. Yikes. This is very reminiscent of what happened in game one, but McConnell is going to find the lane. Wow, okay, we will take that easy bucket. Soon we got to get our starters back out there, and by soon I mean like probably right now would be the best. As Beasley's going to take the screen. Mm, not much going there, not much going at all. Set the screen here for Derek Jones. Gafford's going to roll. Gafford on the inside. Nice find there from Jones. Closing in on the five minute mark as McDermott comes up with this. He does this once a game out of nowhere. And you know what? We're going to attack with Jones. At some point, I'm expecting a poster, but right now we're going to the line. All right, down by six points. We got all our starters back in the game, including Michael Porter. As you can see, though, Joel Embiid does have his takeover, so we're going to be in for a tough couple of minutes here as we're going to turn it off. Why am I even trying to dribble with uh, Miles Turner? Can someone tell me? As Ben Simmons takes it coast to coast. You know, despite being down by eight, I'm not that worried. We've done this before. We've been here before. I see Jeremy Lamb deep in this corner. The green light. That's why I'm not worried. <clears throat> They're going back to Embiid. Remember, he does have his takeover. Got me with that fake. Oh, he is, oh, that's a travel. That's rare, but we will take that. All right, boys. We are in that same position. We kind of found ourselves in game number one. It's kind of a make or break moment. We really got to play to the best of our ability as Jones is going to flare out. He's going to get a good look. Misses it. I don't really know if he can shoot. I don't know why I'm shooting with him, but that would have been big. Simmons on the other end, though. He's trying to find one of his teammates. They're going to go to Harris here. They got some mismatches that I don't like to see, man. We're going to send a double on Embiid. See, this is the problem. They're going to kick it out to Harris. That's big. That's very big. Found ourselves mixed and matched on defense there, and that's a problem. We can't let that happen again. Turner. He's going to get a good look for the midi. A green light. That's a good shot. Down by seven. Reaching the two-minute mark. MPJ is going to drive to the rim for a very easy bucket. We will take as many of those as we can get. All right, let's lock up. Like I said, this is a game one situation. Okay, never mind. Joel Embiid saying, I'm not getting blocked this time. There's a foul on Bobby Portis. All right, the ball is in the hands of Michael Porter. Even the computer knows it's time for him to take over. How do we lock up? We have to stop Joel Embiid. And, and Tobias Harris. He's been pretty good this game, too. As he's sneaking his way inside the paint. I'm not too worried about that man right there, Ben Simmons. But they're going to go to Embiid one more time. Good defense, but another foul, man. Embiid is being super aggressive today. So Embiid would miss the first free throw. He made the second one, making it a seven-point game. He's going to be in isolation here for uh, MPJ if we can explode out of it. Going to take a screen here. Bobby Portis, let's make it quick. Let's make it quick here. Jeremy Lamb, good look. Mitty misses. 76ers bringing it up. They're going to take their time on this play. I don't see them rushing it at all. As Simmons is looking for that 1-2 game with Embiid, who slips the screen, goes off the backboard, misses. We can't grab the rebound. Richardson, the three. Oh, my. All right, MPJ, give us one final miracle hope here. One more hope. One more. We are really... Oh, he missed the dunk. To what? 2K. He actually missed a dunk. That's basically the game saying you're not winning this one, bro. Good luck. Horford, the three. Misses that one, but my goodness, a missed dunk? We're going to have to launch this one. And a green light. What? Okay, Michael. You're a very strange man. You know that? So obviously we would have to foul. They would go to the line and hit both free throws. I'm going to try to launch another one here with MPJ. And with that, I think... It's safe to call GG on this one, boys. So that's going to be it for this one. We end up taking the L 101 to 92. That was, an, that was an interesting finish. I think every game we've played so far in the series has come down to a pretty crazy finish. And this one was just another one of them. We end up taking the L here. We're going to be down 2-1 in the series. Not a good look, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the 76ers and Joel Embiid clearly proving he is the better center. So let's take a look at that box score. As you can see, Michael Porter had 24 and 6. Didn't shoot very well from the field. Miles Turner had 13 and 13, along with four blocks. I can't blame him for the game at all, man. He played a really good game. The problem is this guy named Joel Embiid, he's actually unstoppable. 
and the, the, the AI is actually really using them quite a bit. They don't do this on current gen consoles because I've played against the 76ers, but but Embiid, he is just too ridiculous to stop on next gen, man. I just don't know. We just can't stop him. And Ben Simmons almost had a triple double there. So that's going to be it for this episode. We're currently down 2-1 in the series. I feel like our hopes of moving on to the semifinals aren't really that high, especially against this team now. It feels, it feels like Joel Embiid is really taking over these games. That's very, very tough to stop. But like I said, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.